Well, if you have an appetite for wild game, we just might have your dinner plans for Saturday. Kettleland's Travis Fossing takes us to Brandon and a tasty fundraiser that's been helping kids for nearly four decades. Volunteers are prepping food and testing recipes for Saturday's wild game feed in Brandon. This year's menu includes everything from alligator to oyster stew. It's a lot of normal stuff too. I mean, we're talking deer and pheasant and um, goose, and duck, elk. Um, we even have some pork and hot dogs for the kids. A lot of fish. Uh, we'll probably go through 50 or 60 pounds of fish. Harry Buck is a longtime volunteer. The wild game feed got its start in 1984 and is named after event founder Ed Polzine, who died of cancer in 1999. After he passed away, we decided that we ought to just uh, go ahead and continue to have a wild game feed and do it sort of in memory of him. The annual feed serves as a fundraiser for a variety of local causes with a focus on kids and cancer. Unfortunately, there's kids in our community and adults too that have been diagnosed with cancer or other um, illnesses and, and life impacting events. When a need arises, we just you know, donate some money to the, to the cause. Buck says the wild game feed has raised hundreds of thousands of dollars over the decades and always falls on a specific Saturday. The night before the Super Bowl is, is when we started it, and we've done it the night before the Super Bowl every year since. Allowing you to kick off the weekend with a unique meal. I hope your mouths are watering. <laughs> and help beat cancer. Have some fun and, and, and contribute to a good cause and, and uh, enjoy the meal. In Brandon, Travis Fossing, Kelloland News. The Wild Game Feed is Saturday night at the VFW in Brandon and is a free will offering. Dinner is served at 530 with an auction to follow at 7.